Hello to you. My name is Maria Kanjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. And we are recording today for you from the Vilan of Palas, which is one of the most beautiful places in Warsaw. And with me is the member of the Bitantki program, Julia Barczuk. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. I'm very pleased. <laughs> and of course, it's a unique opportunity to go back in time shoot and wear those amazing dresses and this is all possible due to the Bitantki program. But it's not only about fashion, but it's also about knowledge, yes? Yes, of course. It's the combination of those two. <laughs> In order to put those costumes, we need to have some knowledge, some background knowledge uh, of the eras that we are supposed to be in. So the whole program, the Bitantki, which has um, many new generations coming in of girls and you are in the 8th one, yes? Yes, I am a member of the 8th uh, um, yes, edition. edition. Every edition does other different historic epoch and uh, basically mimic that those times and learn about them. But you also have educational classes about history and especially connected to the Vilan of Palace where we are right now, yes. Yes, yes, that's true. Because the program is uh, a series of events that happen every month. Uh, it's called Pensia <laughs> uh, for, uh, for us. And we not only we on, um, meet in the Vilan of Palace, there are also like various other places, but Vilan of Palace is our like the main one. For instance, we were having um, a private tour around the palace when we learned about all the ladies of the court that were here throughout the times. We are able to see all of the paintings and have a private um, director with us uh, of the tour. Um, Which of course, I mean, the the Land of Palace is a museum right now. Yes, so that's why it was possible to... to yes, yeah, so every single person who would like to come and also see the Vilan of the Palace, it's it open for the visitors. Yeah, it is open. But, but of course, knowledge. Not, not right now, I think, due to COVID. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it would usually be open for yes. people. Uh, so, but those dresses are kind of uniquely uh, connected to Vilan of Palace because uh, as it opened and started as a museum, women were wearing clothes like this. Yes, it and was the fashion back then. <laughs> especially Alexandra Potocka. Mm -hmm. And just next to us, next to Villa Intrata, there is a street of Kostka Potocki, who established the basically palace as a museum. Mm -hmm. and he opened it for the visitors. Yes, but there is a very interesting story about how he became the owner of the palace because he didn't inherit it as a son, he inherited the palace through his wife, yes? Yes, that's true. This is a very unique case because it not always um, women could have inherited anything. It could mostly be uh, at her dowry, right? So that's why I think it's very inspiring, this place, to all of us young women. And there were many amazing women connected to the palace back in history, and not, of course, all of them wearing such kind of dresses, because it, the, the time changes. One of the ladies at the Vilanov Palace was Isabella Czartoryska, who was the mother of Alexandra Potocka, who established the museum, the palace is a museum, of course. Am I right that actually she had four daughters, but she didn't love them, yes? Yes, indeed, she didn't love them that much. She was a very independent woman uh, for the time being, of course, and that's why it was um, Alexandra that inherited it. She didn't want to have girls, and of course, I mean, she had only four, four women, no son. And the funny thing is that she fell in love more in her husband, so Potocki, instead of her own daughter. Yes, that's true. She, she didn't love them because it was, it was the times, right, that only um, boys mattered mainly because they were giving you the security, the security yeah, of the line of your, of your family. I think maybe that was the, the reason behind that. <laughs> but then she gave it to Alexandra, right? Because I think she saw something. Maybe, maybe it was the case where she happy about her, her husband. But uh, what's funny about uh, Isabella Lubomirska Czartoryska, who was one of the ladies at the Vilano Palace, is the fact that she sent her basically dirty clothes back to wash in Paris. And back <laughs> the other side. <laughs> Could you imagine this? Not, 
not using a washing machine at home. Well, she was a lady. <laughs> after all, that's true. And fashion was so important. Then she sailed the whole village just to get beautiful laces and mm, clothes and fabric. Yes, yes I, and I don't think if that's what we should learn from <laughs> about, <laughs> that's what should stay with us, uh, that we should sell a village just to have beautiful lace, right? <laughs> mm, but that's a, a funny fact that everyone should know, I think. <laughs> And you all learn all of those details and elements during your classes. Yes, of course. Debitantki. And also about software V and how to behave in modern times, right? The things that we can take from the past and put into the present. It sounds fabulous and I'm very happy that something like this is established here at the Vilanov Palace and Polish young women are able to participate in it. And if any of the viewers of Poland Daily would like to take part in the Butantki project or just visit the Vilanov Palace, you are very much invited. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.